Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about my series with the houses and secrets of the houses. Now I want to talk about the 10th house. This is such an important house. Everyone wants to know what is their purpose? What is their career in life? This is what the 10th house will reveal. Now, remember, I'm always showing you this book because everything about this is in this book. This is the book on the houses, Bavat Bavam, the derivative house system, how it all works. And even furthermore, I always like to point out uh, my book that you can get. That is my textbook for the University of Vedic Astrology. It is Eastern Astrology for Western Minds. And I wrote that in the event that I felt like there needed to be a way that Westerners could better understand Vedic Astrology, especially those that had practiced Western Astrology prior, because it really does talk to those, the way that we think. So anyway, to get on, let's talk about the power of the 10th house because the 10th house is the most elevated house in the chart, even though in Vedic astrology, we're usually looking at the square charts. In a circular chart, the 10th house is always at the top. And they say that if you are born, well, it's a fact, if you're born around noontime, then this would put your sun somewhere close to the 10th house. So it's noontime in, in the chart that the 10th house reflects. But when planets are in the 10th house, they're always going to be talking about the work, the career, what your life's all about in terms of finding your purpose. You see, the sixth house can deal more with the type of daily activities around the workplace and work per se in and of itself. But the 10th house is your purpose. It's your Dharma. Remember, this is, this is dealing with our work effort and what, we're, what we are here to do. Always talking about purpose. Now, the 10th house is an Artha house. The Artha houses are the houses that deal with making money, putting food on the table, giving us shelter, security. The, the Artha houses are two, six, and 10. And the second house is the money that we make. The sixth house is our daily service and work. <clears throat> and the 10th house is our career, our profession. It's our social standing. It's also your reputation, how you come off and you look to the world. Many times it can reflect the companies, the business that you work for, and many times it is your boss when planets are in the 10th house. Let's say you have a moon in the 10th house. It could actually mean your boss is a woman. The sun in the 10th house, you have a very hard boss. They have to shine. They have to be in charge. Therefore, I always say, if you have the sun in the 10th house, you should be your own boss. Have a job where you don't have to answer to a boss or own your own company, have your own business because you don't take orders very well from other people. You need to be the boss. <laughs> so the 10th house in terms of its positioning from other houses that give it another deeper meaning, if there are some very powerful planets in the 10th house, Many times it could mean that your father was very successful. In other words, he made a lot of money. Why? It is the second house from the ninth and the ninth house in Vedic astrology is the father, not the 10th. I know that the 10th house has many references to the father, especially in Western astrology, you look at the 10th house as the father, but let me just reassure you, the ninth house will really depict your father. Just, you know, let that go. But I know it makes sense that the 10th house is the father based on the fact that it is the seventh house from the fourth. So if the fourth house is the mother, then the seventh house would mean her husband. So guess what? The, the 10th house in that respect can represent 
how your father is to your mother because it is the seventh from the fourth. And in some regions of India, they do look at the 10th house for the father. But I was told that the ninth house represents a father in terms of a father that's a teacher in a, and gives you guidance. And that's really the purpose of the way the father's pos position or role should be. But when it comes to the 10th house is meaning your father, it's more or less the father in terms of how he's made money and position. Remember being the second house from the ninth is your father's money and that will reflect the type of money and how successful and powerful that the father is based on your 10th house. <laughs> now the 10th house is also, it's fame, it's recognition. And so many times when I see the moon in the 10th house, it can represent someone that's famous, someone that's recognized because the moon is the public. The moon is the masses and the public. And when it's in the 10th house, you are well known for something you do. So pretty much, it may not mean that you're world famous, but it does mean that you will be well known in the area of your expertise in your area. So in essence, you are well known, but it's in your field, okay? So that's what the moon in the 10th house can mean, fame, recognition, by the masses. So the 10th house is this house that deals with, it is an angle. It deals with power because the angular houses, which we call Kendras, are one, four, seven, and 10. Now the 10th house is the highest angular house. So it is the most powerful, except for probably an argument of the first house, because the first house is you, and that's pretty darn powerful uh, in a chart. But the 10th house is your power. And when planets are there, especially when you have the ruler of the ascendant there, throughout life, the most important thing is your work and your career your social standing, and you really do associate with, or you, you define yourself through your job, through your career. That's who you kind of feel you are. And to take that away would take away your identity because <laughs> this, is, this is so vitally important. Your career, your job, how you associate to the world through your work and you have to feel purposeful and meaningful so many people call and say you know i've been doing this job my whole life but it doesn't feel purposeful or meaningful what else can i do i'm bored i'm frustrated with my life the 10th house will give the answer the 10th house is really going to give you your sense of purpose and that's the most important variable, I believe, to look at for the 10th house. But don't forget, it will also represent your father's success and money and how your mother sees your father <laughs> being the seventh from the fourth. So those are some really good indications. Uh, one more thing I might add, Rahu and Mars, when they're in the 10th house, give incredible career success, regardless what your ascendant is. You know, sometimes, sometimes certain planets may not uh, work well according to your ascendant. Mars is a malefic planet for, for example, Gemini ascendant. But even so, Mars being in the 10th house gives success. Rahu in the 10th house gives career success too, can make one well-known and famous as well. So planets in the 10th bring you out in the open. It is your reputation. It is how you're seen by the world. Remember the fourth house is where you get away from the world. When you're at home, you know, you, you can, hide, get in your pajamas, sleep at night, be away from the world where no one can see you. But the 10th house, everyone knows where you are. You're out in the public eye. 
that's the 10th house. So with that, I hope you've gleaned some interesting concepts about the 10th house in terms of it being your purpose in Dharma. And if you want to take your studies to the next level, don't forget my university will take your knowledge and information to the next level. Check it out. University of Vedic Astrology dot com. Thank you.